Hey guys, Alex here, AJNashville.com. I want to bring some special news to you that I'm sure a lot of you are kicking yourself in the ass for right now. Jeff, did you just block my camera with your finger as you moved it? Anyways, a lot of you, a lot of people that I spoke to last year, be it real estate agents, other loan officers. Let me turn this fan off real quick. When you get bigger, you got to get more circulation. Um, a lot of people said, "Hey." I talked to this and this person and they said, I want to wait for rates to go down. Now, those of us in this industry who are professionals, and I say professionals because we are licensed, we are bonded, we have taken licensing classes, we've done everything it takes to be in compliance, federal background checks, credit checks, everything. There is a reason why we advise our clients to do what it is we told them to do. So, rates shit the bed today. What do I mean by that? So what I did is I did a, a calculation. I'm not going to disclose it because I don't want to go through all the, you know, NMLS number 302991, APR, XYZ, this, that, and another. But what I did is I took a person with an average payment of about $1,500 and, and tried to see what their buying power was. Now, I took an average rate from mid last year, which was a national average rate based on Freddie Mac's website, and I... Compare that to today's rates, because as most of you know, rates change hour by hour, day by day, sometimes minute by minute. If somebody says some dumb shit on TV, guess what happens? <laughs> rates go up, bond prices go down, okay? They have an adverse uh, reaction to each other. So here's the thing, over that one year span, the person that said, oh, I wanna wait for rates to go down. First of all, you guys don't realize this is the lowest rates we have ever seen in history. And to see those rates still be at what's considered historic lows means that you should still do what? Probably buy a home. But you should have done it last year before this estimated payment that I put together. This particular person, and this is what I would consider your average home buyer, lost $47,349 worth of buying power. Guess what else is happening? Prices of homes are going up. Why? Supply and demand. Most of you say, people stop moving to Nashville. Come on, keep moving. Because here's what happens. We get limited on our inventory. It drives the price up. People buy the homes. But then the people that wanted to wait just lost an estimated 47000 Say it with me. $1,000 of purchasing price. That is literally the difference from getting the dream home that you've always wanted and being stuck in a shit shack because you waited. Sorry to keep it real. Do we have any questions? You wouldn't be able to tell if there were. Jeff's not too tech savvy. I love the boy to death, but seriously, you can put a calculator in front of him and be like, I don't know how to play this video game. What do I do with this? So that's why Jeff has an abacus at his desk. Um, anyways, listen to the professionals. You hired a professional for a reason. Please start listening to them. I am a licensed loan officer for a reason. I follow the bond markets. I follow everything that Barry Habib sends out who has an excellent program called MBS Highway that allows us to watch these rates. When we advise you to do something, it's not because we want to line our pockets because trust me, there's plenty of people that want to buy. It's because we know the shift of the market. So please, if you're looking to buy a home, reach out to your preferred loan officer, your preferred realtor, and get this done before my video this summer that says, hey, that same person we talked about in January that I calculated in August that I told to buy a home now lost $90,000 worth of purchasing power. Anyways, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you later. Can you not shut it off?